The number of terrorist attacks and terrorism-related deaths have gone down for the first time in three years. That's according to University of Maryland data released by the U.S. State Department. The data shows there were over 11,700 attacks worldwide in 2015 down 13 percent from 2014. The international community made important progress in degrading terrorist safe havens. Most attacks happen in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and Nigeria. And if it's surprising Syria isn't among the top five, that's because this is an estimate based on reporting from independent news outlets. But Syria, along with Bangladesh, Egypt, Turkey, and the Philippines, had an increase in both reported attacks and deaths. The Taliban carried out the most attacks, but ISIS and Boko Haram killed more people. Private citizens and property came in as the top target of terrorist attacks last year and made up just over half of attacks. There is no reason that governments can't prosecute an effective counterterrorism terrorism policy and at the same time protect uh, civil rights uh, of its populace. One of the biggest reasons for the drop in attacks might be an increased effort from the international community to work together. The State Department credited a U.S.-led coalition in particular with helping decrease the resources to ISIS and the territory held by the group, which it says is the biggest terrorism threat the world faces. And the U.S. seems ready to continue those global efforts. The cost to fight ISIS for 2017 is expected to be double the amount asked for in 2016. For Newsy, I'm Melissa Prax.